Okay, we're looking at the ACT eMarketing screen in new ACT version 17. Of course, ACT eMarketing was introduced in version 16, providing ACT users with a choice in terms of two very powerful email marketing components, depending on specific requirements. Uh, the ACT eMarketing tool, of course, is very easy to use, uh, easy to access, with great integration back in ACT. Uh, that means that we can target contacts from within ACT lookups or groups, but report open and click-through data from email campaigns directly back into the ACT system. This is also fully accessible in any version of ACT, including ACT Premium for Web through the browser as well, which is something of a step change, really, for uh, for ACT. Uh, in version 17, of course, the ACT marketing component has been enhanced by fusing together marketing capability with sales effort uh, for individual people, but also teams of users. So what that means is we get automatic enabling of follow-up activity driven by intelligence from campaigns and web forms. So let's just look at how that might work in a practical sense. In the IT marketing view uh, within the system, of course, on the left-hand side, we've got a list of uh, previous email marketing campaigns under call lists. And on the right-hand side, we've got the specific details of respondents to those various campaigns. So in the case of each respondent, we see uh, the name of the contacting company, the, uh, the number of opens and clicks. We also see a score that's automatically calculated by the system, reflecting the level of engagement with that particular contact. So opens of the email are recorded with a 10-point assignment. Uh, clicks, far more valuable to us as email marketers, score 50 points. The reason that a click is so much more valuable is an open doesn't necessarily tell us that there's been any real interest expressed by the recipient, but a click on a hyperlink within the email, of course, tells us that the recipient has not only opened the email, but read it, understood the context, and expressed a desire to learn more. So very much more significant. In version 17, then, the enhancement allows us to monitor these automatic scores and target uh, these respondents that reach a certain score that we're going to determine with a follow-up email or perhaps schedule an activity for a salesperson to make a follow-up call. So let me show you an example of how we could do this in version 17. Um, if we go up to the schedule menu and choose manage smart tasks, the Smart Tasks window, of course, is invoked. I'm going to create a new Smart Task, and I'm just going to call it Email Campaign Follow-Up. You can include a description below that, of course, just to remind you what this particular Smart Task is doing. Um, we're looking at contact data. Of course, you can also target records based upon opportunity characteristics. But in this case, email marketing information is recorded against the contact. And you'll notice that under the Trigger options, there's now an extra component run when e marketing conditions are met. So first of all it's going to ask me to log in to my e-marketing system. So that's a username and password and when I log in it'll then expose a list of previous e-marketing campaigns that I've used and allow me to target respondents. So I'm going to select a previous campaign and I'm looking at the date and the name of the campaign there and I want to target respondents to that campaign that delivered a score greater than 100 points and what I want to do is schedule the smart task to run every weekday at 11.30 in the morning so at 11.30 every weekday morning it will check respondents to that particular campaign and I guess they'll diminish over time uh, and organize follow-up actions Click OK to create the smart task and confirm the characteristics of which contacts are involved and when it's going to run. And having done that, I can add steps to the campaign. So at this point, I can add various steps that follow the smart task when it's been triggered. And I want to organize the sending of a follow-up email, so I go down to Send Email Campaign. I've just got to re-enter the details of my email marketing account. So that's my username and password. And then I can prepare the follow-up email. So I'd, I'd give it a step name and a description. Again, these are only for internal purposes, so you can recognize what this smart task step is actually doing, what contribution it's making to the process. 
Now I can choose who to send the email from. Um, you're not limited to senders that are in this list. I can click on manage and add the details of further senders that can be used. Uh, when you do add further users of course you'll be required by the system to send a validation email. This will happen automatically uh, to, the, to the new sender and they'll need to click in the link to validate ownership of that email address before it can be used as a, a sender profile. But I'm just going to send this email from myself put something in the subject line and then all I need to do here is select the template which template would I prefer to use and at this point I can even edit that template which will take me into my online template editor of course we're using a system here that is uh, legally compliant now uh, primarily this is based around the US can spam legislation but uh, loosely speaking that maps across to UK and European legislation Essentially what we're saying here is that uh, SwiftPage eMarketing and Act eMarketing are permission-based email marketing services. The intention is that they're used to send emails to people who freely expressed a preference to receive content from you. And, and that's basically what you're ticking to uh, acknowledge. It, it is worth clicking on review policy and just making sure that you feel very comfortable with the policy before going forward. So click OK. So I'm now going to go on and add a second event which is to schedule an activity for a salesperson to follow up with this contact as well. It's just inviting me to put in the basic characteristics of an ACT activity so I can select the type, how soon after the trigger date the activity is, is initiated. It can have a time or of course I can make it timeless like any ordinary ACT activity and this is going to be scheduled against the contact that responded to the email that meets my um, uh, smart task criteria. I want to put something in the regarding line so that the user uh, for whom the activity is scheduled understands what this is all about. So I'm just making it quite clear here. Uh, urgent follow-up required. Contact responded positively to a particular email campaign. I'm going to make it a high priority follow-up as well and also set a ring alarm to occur immediately the smart task is triggered. Um, I can select the person for whom I want the alarm to be scheduled, click OK, and I'm, I'm back to the Smart Task dialog.